Let's experiment with the lush greenery in the Welcome to the Jungle Create Along box. My Welcome to the Jungle Create Along box has arrived, and I want to share with you the goodies that are inside this month's box. This is really kind of nifty. It's a bent wood box to decorate. You can keep business cards in there or store things in it. That, that's really nifty. We have got, yippee, some more Dazzle Dust. And this is Copper Green, which I bet is going to be uh, sort of a verdigris effect, which is probably my favorite metal effect ever. So can't wait to play with that. I'm going to show you how to use the Dazzle Dust. This product is quickly becoming one of my favorites the more I experiment with it. This month's box came with this copper green. You want to use it on some cured polymer clay, or you can use it on metal or wood and things like that. I'm going to use it on these two beads that I made with some scrap clay a while back. And you need to heat the clay to about 300 degrees. You can do that in your oven or you can use your heat tool. How long that takes, it really depends upon your tool, etc. And there's a little bit of experimentation involved in this process, but it's well worth the effort. So let me heat these up. try we're going to dip them into the powder you can pour the powder over them too and if it's not sticking it's just not quite hot enough and then reheat it And then you can add more. Ooh, that's gorgeous. You can add as many layers of this as you want to get the effect and the finished color that you like. It's really pretty. It's kind of a dark, sparkly green. I'm going to experiment with it on some white, see what kind of results I get on that, but it really is quite pretty. We have got some, oh, look at that one. We've got some deco discs, and this set is called Jungle Flora. And that one's pretty. It's flowers and whoops, this one is sort of leafy vines but this one I love this one with the ferns and the leafy fronds that one's gonna be the bomb diggity use a release agent like water or mica powder when you're using your deco discs I like to just use my fingers to transfer the pattern
Once baked, you can highlight the raised textured areas with things like metallic luster or Inca gold. And in here we have got a really cool silk screen that it's called Tribal Leaves. You can see it a little better from that side. It's a really pretty all over pattern. It would work great for feathers too. That's going to be fun to experiment with. Place your silk screen with the colored side against the clay sheet and then add your paint. I'm using some dark green acrylic paint. Wash your silk screen right away after you so it's ready next time. And this is the Bargello Leaf Stencil. That's a pretty one too. I'm using the stencil over the silk screened image and I'm going to apply some somewhat sheer gold mica powder. I'm just going to put some parchment and rub over it to set that powder a bit. All right, what else have we got? We have got another one of the new rubber stamps from Trade Along. This is the Tropical Rubber Stamp, and it's Monstera leaves, and that's going to be awesome for texture and stamping onto clay and can't wait to play with that. I rolled some white Primo to a three on my pasta machine and I textured it using my rubber stamp. Then I decided to add some different shades of green with alcohol inks before I cut out the shapes for some earrings I wanted to make. This great little box came with the kit this month and I want to make a wash of paint and just tint it almost like stain it. So I've got a little water in here and I'm just going to mix in some of that paint. And just paint the whole box. I'm not going to paint the inside, I'm just going to paint the outside and let that dry completely. I actually ended up using the dazzle dust on the little wooden knob for the box also and it worked beautifully on the wood. Then I cut a strip from the sheet of clay that I silk screened and stenciled and I added a little bacon bond to the center of the cover part of that box and I added that strip to the box and then baked it according to the manufacturer's instructions to cure it. I think I'm going to use this as a special gift card holder for my mom for Christmas. I'm Cindy McGee and I hope you enjoyed exploring some surface techniques using the lush tropical leafy things in the Into the Jungle Create Along box. Remember to share your projects in our Create Along Polymer Clay Tribe Facebook group.